what is going on you guys good morning it is first thing in the morning and I haven't been out to the lake in a while so that's what I'm about to go do today I got the car packed up got a little cooler got some rods and uh, we're just gonna do some exploring see what we could catch I'm gonna target some panfish see if I could get some in the box for some lunch and then maybe just have some fun see if we could catch a couple bass and things like that so I'm gonna go ahead out do some exploring and see what we get to get into All right, you guys just pulled up at the first spot. It's like a little canal back here. Um, I got—I know I said it's an ultralight, but it's actually a light action rod, six and a half foot. I got five pound braid on there to a six pound floral leader. And I just do that so when I cast, it doesn't really get tangled up in my uh, in my rod tip as much. Uh, down a little 132nd ounce jig, a little plastic, and um, see if we can catch some panfish and see what we could get. Yeah, we'll just head to the next spot. Not really catching nothing. Just gotta keep moving until you get on. Um, Alright, you guys. Just pulled up to the second spot. Still got that worm on from that spot before. I'm actually gonna take this off and start with the plastic. Just in case there's any chance of, like, crappie in here. They're more likely to bite the, um plastic than they are a worm keep this here so yeah we'll see if there's any uh, crop here maybe perch I don't want to bite this and if not I'll put the worm back on see if there's any bluegill in here There we go. Go ahead and take the backpack. Bring the night crawlers, the cooler. We're ready to fish. Oh, big large mouth. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I literally just dropped it down. Wow. I was not expecting that. Not super, super huge, but... Let's see if I can flip them up. Yeah. I guess it was just that easy, huh? Let that guy go. <laughs> I literally just, I literally just went like this. Just l dropped my line straight in the water, and he was just right there. It was instant. It's been pretty slow for me today. Haven't been out fishing in, jeez, probably over a month. Oh, oh, that was so cool. Oh, he broke me off. Oh, man, that was so cool. Oh, damn. Came up and bit, and then I missed him, set the hook, and then he just started chasing after it. Blew up like a top water, and then just snap my line. I'll go ahead and retie, and then we'll do that exact same thing. Re rigged up, ready to go. Let's see if we could, it seems like there's a school of them right there. Let's see if we can catch a few more. Hopefully, not break any off again. I think I just missed one right there. Yep. Yep, they're pretty fired up. Bring that cooler over here and then hopefully start hammering on these guys. 
Just something to eat. Yeah, there's a little school of them. I just got hit right there again. Yep. Cool, cool. fish on. Oh, we got, oh, nice crappie. There we go. There we go. Thank you. About time. Caught something good. Nice, beautiful eater size crappie. I'll go throw him on ice. It has been really, really slow. I mean, extremely slow. bath I barely even felt him super super subtle Let's see if there's any more around this little dock Oof, that one hit it hard. Might be on him right now. Relax, buddy. Relax. Nice. Might be a little bit, probably the same size, just a little bit thicker than the last one. Beautiful, beautiful crappie. Yep, there's another one. Yep, yep. Awesome. Oh, oh. Stay right there. Finally, finally starting to put some fish in the box. That's a nice one. Oh, large mouth. I was going to say it feels pretty heavy. Not a bad one. Let's see if we can flip them up, maybe. Yeah. Decent little one. I thought that was a crappie for a second. I was like, oh yeah. That's going to be a really, really good one. Oh yeah, hooked up again. This time it's what we're looking for. Nice. Dropped right to the bottom and then he just hit it right on the fall. Beautiful, beautiful crappies. Oh, I just missed one right there. Nice. 
was moving it so ever so slightly across the bottom. There we go. Oh, this is a better one. Nice. Another nice one. Probably one of the bigger ones, if not the biggest one of the day so far. Relax, buddy. Beautiful, beautiful crappie. Nice, just thick, healthy fish. Oh, hooked up. I had a fish on the whole time. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about where they're so subtle. I had no idea. I was waiting for my bait to sink a little bit. Because uh, I was working it through that. Just these weeds. That, these floating weeds. I dropped it right down in the middle of there. And I was trying to wait for my bait to sink a little bit further. Thinking that it was caught up in the weeds. Then I saw my line going completely under the dock. And I was like, well. That's how you know you got one on. Might have to call it on this spot and keep moving. I think that might have been the last crappie that we get from here. All right, you guys, and on that note, I'm going to call it. Um, ended up with a pretty good cooler full of fish. Got some crappie in there, some white perch, some yellow perch. Um, caught a few bass today and things like that. I could stay out there a little bit longer and try to pick off a few more fish, but I got a lot of stuff to do today. About to go hang out with my grandparents for a little bit, probably clean these fish up, probably give some to them, if not all of them. Um, then I'm actually going to a baseball game later. So I could, like I said, I could stay out here and try to fish a little bit longer, but bite's been slow. Um, and I, you know, had fun catching these, the fish that I did catch. And like I said, I'm going to go hang out with my grandparents, clean these fish up, and then I'll, uh, I'll show you guys how to clean them and then cook them right after we get done out of here. All right, guys, we're back at the house now. I did stop by my grandparents' house, just hung out with them for a little bit, um, had a coffee and just hung out, had lunch. But now I'm back at the house. You already know the deal. Got the fish right here. I'm gonna show you guys how to clean one. Um, I got, so we had some crappie, uh, white perch, and some yellow perch. Um, so I got my electric fillet knife right here. I'm gonna take one of these crappie right here. Start off with one of these. Right behind the gills. Turn the knife. And just let the knife do all the work. Slide right down the... Take that fillet right off. Come in here, take the rib cage out. And that's a clean crappie fillet right there. Nice clean crappie fillet. That's gonna go in the bowl. Come and do the same thing on the other side. trying to get all the meat as possible that's why same thing take the rib cage out on that guy it's another neat clean crappie fillet right there for the bowl I'm gonna go through clean the rest of these fish exactly like how I just showed you right here uh, and then Tomorrow is my brother's birthday, so I might, or today's my brother's birthday, but we're having a party tomorrow, so I might kind of do a little fish fry for like a little appetizer, so we'll see. Um, I'll try to get that on film as well, but for right now, I'm just going to clean the rest of these fish, and then we'll see you guys later. What's up, guys? We're in the kitchen with the crappie and the perch fillets. Um, I didn't end up making them for my brother's birthday. We had a whole bunch of food, so I didn't want to bother making one more thing. We had ribs and chicken and steak and the whole nine yards, so I had the uh, fish sitting in a, in a Ziploc baggie with some paper towel. 
I have some more paper towel here. I'm just going to make sure they're all like, all the fillets are padded super dry. I don't want any moisture in there. And I'm going to do um, a really easy recipe that I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably seen before, but just a little bit different. So I'm going to coat all these little fillets in hot sauce. And then for the breading, I'm going to use cornmeal. Um, anytime I do a breading on fish, I always use cornmeal because just because I'm allergic to flour. So I know a lot of people do like a mixture with cornmeal anyway, but I just do 100% cornmeal. So fillets are nice and dry. I'm going to go ahead and open up this hot sauce. My coworker bought me this for my, for my birthday. <laughs> I'm just going to... Oh, this is like thick. Usually I do it with like Frank's Red Hot and it's like more liquidy. Oh, I'm excited for this. I'm just going to kind of coat them all in that and make sure there's a good coating of it. That looks pretty good right there, honestly. Try one raw. Huh? Try one raw. Ah. <laughs> It'll be fine, right? And then we're just going to go ahead. This is one of them crappie fillets. Big old crappie fillet. Bread it up in the cornmeal. And then the part that's different is I'm putting them in the air fryer. So I'm not going to deep fry them. I'm going to put them on these air fryer racks. And then I'm just going to throw them in the air fryer. A little bit healthier, um, a little bit easier, and a lot easier cleanup too. You don't have grease everywhere, you don't gotta worry about cooking them outside or making a mess in your kitchen or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat the process um, with all these fillets, and then we're gonna get ready and throw them in the air fryer. All right guys, just got done battering up all the fillets. Kind of packed them on the trays pretty tight, but I just didn't feel like doing another batch. So, should be all right. Um, battered, all, battered them all up in the hot sauce and the cornmeal, so now we're just gonna go ahead and throw them in the air fryer. I got the air fryer set at 400. I'll put like the thicker fillets on top where it's a little bit hotter, and the thinner fillets on the bottom. And then like halfway through, I'm gonna do like 10 minutes. Halfway through, I'll switch the trays out since the hot does run a little bit hotter, or the top does run a little bit hotter. Um, and then we'll check them in like seven-ish minutes, see how we're looking, um, and then we'll go from there. All right guys, we're about halfway through cooking these. I'm gonna go ahead and just, like I said earlier, rotate them. Take the just because the top side does get a little bit hotter. And that's it. Let them finish off in there another like two three minutes and be ready to eat them. All right, guys. Oh my bad, I forgot to start recording. Um, I checked up on the on the fillets though. They are they are done. Some of them got a little bit too crispy, but they look pretty good. I mean, not a bad like. Don't mind the little burnt part, but um, for not deep frying them and for having them in the air fryer, they look pretty, pretty good. I did try a little bit, a little piece, and that hot sauce is pretty spicy. Usually when I do Frank's Red Hot, it's not that bad, um, but that little piece I had was a little pretty spicy. We'll leave this here, let it cool down a minute. Um, this piece looks really good though. Nice and crunchy. Let them cool down a little bit and then we'll see how they taste. All right guys, we got these fillets cooled down a little bit. I'm gonna let my boy, the cameraman, go in, for the, go in for the first bite and we'll see what he thinks. Oh, we got this one. Cheers. That's a nice crappie fillet. Whoever filleted that did a how really do you know good the job. Difference? Spicy. Mm -mm. Hot. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what are we thinking? Dude, look at that golden crispy. It is like the perfect mm. snack. Hold on, hold on. Show the white meat. Yeah. Wow. It's just absolutely the best appetizer you could ever want. And then, Dang. So you're saying I should have made them for my brother's birthday. Fuck yeah. Well, <laughs> leave that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pew. But no, just, they're just so light and flaky. And then even yeah. if you wanted to, we could have chopped this up and put it in like tacos and made a like an actual meal with them. But just, I mean, it's like potato chips. You can just keep yeah. eating these. They're so light and... They got such a good flavor to them. Oh, you mm. can catch that steam off of them. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Nico, Nico's already digging in. He wasn't even waiting for the camera. Yeah. <laughs> what do we think? I'm eating, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get in here. Some of these got a little bit burnt, but I'm gonna take a little piece of this crappie. Man, 
that looks good. Like that sauce is like almost like uh, it's like fruity a little bit. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like it better now that it's cooled down. Let me do. I tried a little piece when it was like piping hot. You can actually get the flavor of the hot sauce. At first I was from uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The flavor of the hot sauce is super good. Okay. Now so I just got done filming the catfish and smallmouth recipe. So I just got or video. So I just got done cooking those. Now for you guys, between this, the catfish and the small mouth. Granted, they were different recipes. What do you guys prefer? Catfish, this, small mouth. In that order? Catfish, this, small mouth? Wow. Wow. The small mouth at the bottom. Mm -hmm. This is tough for me because the other, the catfish and the small mouth were more of, excuse me, they were more of like actual meals. Mm -hmm. Whereas this reminds me of just an appetizer. An appetizer. So quick, so on the go. This for me, even though the other two had way more flavor because they were smoked, they were seasoned. They were just prepped with love. Mm -hmm. You know, this one, it's a quick meal, it's in the air fryer, but it's so light and so refreshing. Yeah. And I can eat three pieces and feel like pretty full, but I also know that I could, this whole plate could be gone. Oh, in yeah. Like two minutes if I really wanted to. Oh, so, yeah. No, it's money. I like this the most. Wow. And then, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a tie for the catfish and smallmouth. They were both so good. I feel like, like obviously, if we, if we would have soaked these in the grease, they would have been just that much better. But, they came out pretty good. Well, there you have it, guys. There's your verdict. Pretty, pretty damn good. Like I said, I do like it better in the taco. Um, but just something simple, something quick, something easy. Something when you and your buddies are hanging out with. Pop it in the air fryer for 10 minutes and you guys got a little snack, a little appetizer. Something to snack on when you guys are hanging out. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah? For real.